As we looked out our windows, one of the first things we saw living here was the elm. And we fell in love with that tree. I'm going to start crying when I tell you about this because we absolutely fell in love with that tree. We, it seemed to speak to us. It had so many things to say. The Olmsted elm was not planted by Olmsted. It was here. So Olmsted looked around and said, what can I do? So he created this large open space with the single elm in the center. Me too. Chocolate or vanilla? I mean, he was a visionary in every possible way. Uh, in all his work, he, he could see into the future as to what a landscape would do for people when they walked into it. Probably in the mid-1990s, it really began to exhibit uh, a number of various stresses associated with uh, Dutch elm disease and uh, root problems. And from that point on, uh, it became more and more difficult to sustain its health. Many of you shared with us the sad days of the decline and ultimate removal of our historic Olmsted Elm, which was taken down March 30, 2011. And today we plant a young tree. Look at that, it's just bursting with early leaves, eager to be placed in its new home. This tree began its life three years ago as our beloved historic tree was in its final year. The Jefferson Elm uh, was selected ultimately as the replacement tree for the original Olmsted Elm that was removed. The Jefferson Elm was identified by the National Park Service as a potentially Dutch Elm disease tolerant variety of American Elm. And in some ways this is a defiant gesture, I would argue. In spite of what happened with the elm bark beetle and its transmission of this fungus that uh, caused Dutch Elm disease, we're still defiant and we're going to try to sort of stand up and, and, and continue to love this beautiful form, this singular tree of the American landscape and of American towns and cities. There's a lot of anticipation and worry at the same time about how this tree will do and if it will in fact live up to the strength of character that the earlier tree exhibited. I wish for this tree to have as long and as good a life as the other tree. I wish for the new tree to match the beauty of the rest of the Olmsted Park. I wish that the tree goes tall and strong and brings shade and comfort as so many others have before. It's a fast growing tree. I'm, I'm estimating that in, let's say 30 years, uh, we're gonna see uh, a pretty big tree here. It's going to reach up over the roof of the house. And uh, I look forward to seeing that. I wish that Frederick Law Olmsted would come back to life, see the tree, and smile a big smile. This is a, a dream come true for Olmsted. So I think the tears would be coming down Olmsted's face because he would feel this is the legacy. Even 50 years from now, I'll definitely come back to this park and show my kids, probably even grandkids, that I helped plant this tree and tell the historic meaning of it. I wish for the tree to grow healthy and stay around long enough so that my children's children will be able to see it.